hi good evening hi everybody hi hi miss scott and miss scott <laughs> Hi, Miss Brown. Hi, Mark. Hi, Bridget. Uh, no, that's not what we're trying to do, y'all. We're trying to do that. And then one more thing. We're going to go ahead and hop right in. It will not take uh, me long on this particular live. Hi, Cordell. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm going to speak to y'all. Y'all know I am. You know how I do. All right, praise God. Hello, hello, hello. All right, you all. First of all, let me say thank you to everybody who responded to that post when I said, what are you making for dinner today? Because I kind of went through and um, I definitely tried to heart every comment that I saw because I think all of your meal ideas for today were absolutely amazing. However, um, I had to kind of go with what I had a taste for and I really wasn't sure. So, um... I have not had turkey wings in a while, and I like to get these uh, turkey wings that are actually cut small from um, the Piggly Wiggly here in my area. So I'm going to uh, definitely uh, put those on. It's not going to be a long live because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I already have them rinsed off, but I'm going to show you the seasonings I'm going to use. I'm going to put them on, and then I'll come back and show you all the finished product. That's what we're going to do with that. Um, I may make something else on this live. Uh, one of my daughters wants, actually two of them, want some um, lemon pepper wings. So I may make those on this live as well. But I'm having me some turkey wings and, um, and whatnot. Oh no, Shay, I'm so sorry to hear your mother pass. So, so sorry. So I do have a few extra cookbooks. I'll post my, um, I told you all that I would have let me see if I could post it. I told you I would update the amount that I have. People have already been checking it out because they're, they've already been buying it. So it's not many. It's not many. I'm going to tell you that right now. So if you don't get to grab one with the ones that are left, I'm sorry. <laughs> hello, hello. All right. So, all right, y'all. So let me show you. Let me put my gloves on so y'all can see these uh, cut turkey wings. I love when they cut like this because I don't really like turkey wings that are really big. And another thing is, um, I know at Walmart you can get the little small ones, but I can never get them cut up small. But when the big ones are cut up for me, like I love that. I love that. Somebody want to be my food taster? Y'all see how these are cut, how they cut them? I love that. Look at that. So it makes it easier. And plus, when you're feeding children, it's better because you have smaller portions of it versus the big, you know, uh, turkey wings. So as far as my seasonings today, I, I love this seasoning. If you have my cookbook, I did put the picture of it in there as well as share this with you all. I love, love, love this seasoning. This is also a great seasoning when you're making just uh, hot wings or lemon pepper wings. The flavor of it is just, it's like a mild, but uh, it's mild, but it's good. Th does that make sense? And I say mild because when you're making hot wings, you don't want a strong uh, seasoning when you're making hot, at least I don't. I want something that's that's flavorful, but not overpowering because, you know, you're going to toss it in your uh, whatever, your hot sauce or whatever you're using. So uh, I love this seasoning. I don't use a whole, whole, whole lot of it, Okay. Now, today I'm going to use a method that I've done, oh, years ago. If you've been following me for a long time, then you know that uh, back when I was going live, when live first started, I would do my turkey wings like this. And you will see what I'm talking about once I get started. Hey, Sasha, I miss you too, girl. We need to talk. We need to talk. So make sure you hit me up. <laughs> I'm going to use some of my adobo. This is also on the uh, list of my to-go seasonings. If you have my cookbook, it's in the back. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's one of the pictures in there. I'm going to put some of that on there. You don't need a whole lot. And then I love garlic, so I'm going to add some of that. So always feel free to add what you like, okay? I think we all kind of have our own little favorite seasonings, but sometimes we don't know what we want to use, and that's why we 
watch other people cook and get their ideas, right? And we can kind of, you know, use some of that. Now, this is a little vegetable oil. Um, I'm going to toss a little bit of that with my uh, turkey wings as well. So y'all can see. Let me get y'all to where y'all can actually see, see, because you can't see, see like that. My cookbooks are, well, there's a few more. There's a few more, but they're about sold out. I'm telling you that right now because I only had a few more. So let me turn y'all around. Where is my thing to turn you around? There we go. All right, so what I did was I put my seasonings on there. I put a little bit of my oil. So what I'm going to do now is just toss it with that. And that's all you need to do. And I really need to use my glove because that ain't going to work. Let me put one of my... um gloves on and you get those uh turkey wings nice and seasoned and make sure y'all share what you cook today i also made that post yesterday too so people could actually have something to refer back to on days that you can't think of something to cook go back to that post i uh posted so many people i mean we had thousands of comments on there where people actually posted what they made for dinner or what they were making for dinner today so that should give you a lot of ideas okay mm -hmm. You should never not have no ideas of what you're going to cook because there's a lot of them on there. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you got it because it's only a few. It's only a few left. I'm telling you that right now. You said what kind of gloves? Um, I'm going to turn my stove on. I'm going to put a little bit of my... You can do vegetable oil or olive. I'll put a little vegetable since I already used that in our pan so hopefully you can see that I have it on a medium high heat the gloves that I use that I buy from um, Walmart are the these they're the vinyl disposable gloves powder free and form fitting I like to use these okay now I'm not saying they're the best ones but I like gloves that don't have the powder and that they sold out already? Oh, Lord Jesus. Well, praise God. Um, I love the ones that are, uh, you know, powder-free and things like that. So, I love those. Okay, that sounds good. She says she's baking some chicken uh, quarters. All right, now. <laughs> I see some of your comments. All right, we're going to let this heat up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown my uh, turkey wings a little bit. That helps us sear in that flavor. I actually like to marinate my turkey wings, but I didn't get a chance to marinate them today, you all, because I really didn't know what I was going to cook. When I made that post and asked y'all what y'all were going to cook, that's why, because I didn't know what I was going to cook. So uh, let me move this over here and start getting my little onions together. So by you all sharing what you were going to cook, it kind of helped me to really make a decision on what I was going to do. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to smother my turkey wings. We're going to brown them. And after we brown them and sear in that flavor, honey, we're going to add just a little liquid into that pot. And we're going to let them kind of, uh, not simmer, but like cook on a low boil for a little bit. And then we're going to um, make a gravy and um, they're just going to be smothered. We're going to add in our uh, onions and bell peppers, all of that, you all. I think I'm going to make some potatoes. I think I want to do like a, uh, I'm kind of going back and forth. Do I want to make mashed potatoes or do I want to do like a fried potato? Thank you, Pamela. Ooh, dirty rice. Who said they're making dirty rice? I love dirty rice. I absolutely love, love, love me some dirty rice. That is so good. Mm, that's one of my favorite things to eat. I know a lot of y'all making turkey wings because that's what you said on the on the on the post. <laughs> and I'm glad you did because it helped me to make a decision. I don't eat turkey wings a lot. So um when I do eat them, it's been a while. And so I'm always really excited to have some. So we're gonna go ahead and add these turkey wings in this pot. So let's come on back over here. I see this pot getting it's getting impatient. <laughs> Let me bring you over here. I got this um, vegetable oil on a medium high heat. You can use olive, okay? So just keep that in mind. And all we're doing is just letting them brown a little bit. So you do not have to do this step, okay? You can omit this step. You can omit whatever steps you want, honey. 
So it's really just simply to sear in that flavor and to brown it a little bit, okay? I used to do this all the time with whether it's my uh, chicken, my, um, what else was I cooking a lot of? Definitely my turkey, my oxtails. So if you've been watching me for a while, you already know. It's just what I do. So I'm going to let these brown just a little bit. I love me some turkey wings, honey. And this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. And I wish it was a way I could just buy the tips. Because I would just buy the tips. They so good and whew. I'm gonna add that in there. This is just oil. So I'm gonna add that in there with that. With my seasoning. Vegetable oil. We're gonna let that cook a little bit, you all. Let me get my um my towel. They my favorite too, Miss Thompson. Gail, you know what? I used to be like that too until I learned how to cook it. I couldn't stand turkey meat either. But you know what? It's hard to like something if you don't, you don't know how to make it how you like it. Not to say you don't know how to make it how you like it. Maybe you just don't like turkey meat. But that's the reason why I didn't like it. Because it wasn't the way I wanted it to be. I'm just putting a little black pepper on there, you all. We love some black pepper. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Miss Sims, I use I use adobo. I use now this is one of my favorites right here. It's in the cookbook. I love it. I love, love, love it. And I used my uh, garlic, okay? I added a little pepper. Now, when it comes to sodium, you won't see me adding a lot of sodium to my food because a lot of the seasonings have sodium. And then I like to allow the person eating the food to add their own sodium at the end, okay? Well, you know, once their food is done. So, I don't do a lot of sodium. You won't see me adding a lot of salt at all. And those that have my cookbooks, you see that too. <laughs> you add your own salt at your own discretion, okay? I'm not really trying to be a part of that. So we're going to finish. We're going to let these cook up for a little bit. It's on a medium-high heat. You don't need to leave it on uh, nothing too high. I'm just getting these onions and peppers cut. I'm trying to see your comments at the same time so I can talk to y'all and cut my peppers and onions. Oh, oh, that sounds good. Fried red, uh, veggie rice. Hold on. You don't have the cookbook, honey? Well, it's only a few left on my website that's pinned at the bottom. It was literally only a few. So what I had to do today is I, I went through and saw how many orders I had left. I knew I had some extra books, and so I did update that quantity. Unfortunately, that will be all for now. I will have more books real real soon but not that soon um it just depends on like i said i have a meeting coming up with a possible distributor so we'll see and then if not you all then i'll do another cookbook sale in february in january those in the weight loss group you know we have our corporate fast and i'm not trying to do nothing else after after this sale it just it took a lot out of me <laughs> it's very exhausting when i do these cookbook sales because the thing about it is people just, uh, it's not people, but it's just the emails and the book orders. It's just a lot when it's one person doing it. I get overwhelmed and it's a lot of orders. It's a lot of orders. Hold on, let me see that comment. Hold on, y'all. Oh, baby, I'm sorry I missed your comment. If I miss it, just say it again. Just say it again. I am not that person that's trying to ignore you. 
Now I ignore foolishness. I do ignore foolishness. <laughs> but if you uh, actually comment something, say it again if I miss it because as long as it ain't nothing cray cray, I'll definitely respond back. So do you all see? If you can't see, I'm going to bring you closer so you can see the turkey wings. With Siri and that flavor, honey. Ooh, Jesus. Y'all, it looks so good. Mm, 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 mm. Make you want to eat it like that. Look at that, honey. I get excited. So you just in that flavor. And then we're going to add in a little bit of our... Um... Now keep in mind, you don't have to uh, cook it like that. So, but... <laughs> It's good if you do. Let me get some of my, um, I need some of my chicken broth. So we are gonna make a gravy. However, we're not making the gravy yet. So the first thing we're gonna do, once they're seared, we're going to add a little uh, moisture to them, a little juice, a little um, chicken broth. We're gonna cover it, and we're gonna turn it all the way down to where there's like a low boil. And I have to let them cook for about an hour and a half to two hours, okay? No, I didn't cut them. They came that way. Um, that's why I like to go to Piggly Wiggly. The Piggly Wiggly cut them like that. Now, they didn't cut them for me, but they were already cut. That's what I like about the Piggly Wiggly. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be sleeping on Piggly Wiggly. Y'all be sleeping on them hood stores. I know everybody got some hood stores. I know you may be scared. But go in the hood, honey, because you can find everything that you want to find. <laughs> I love it. I go in there proud. Let me find every little meat I need to find. So I'm going to let these cook a little bit more. I'm move this over. Chicken broth, I usually just use... Um, I shop a lot at Sam's. So... Yes, we have, uh, Piggly Wiggly has really come up. Like, I remember when Piggly Wiggly was considered a, a low-grade store. And see, my thing is, maybe in your area it is, but in my area, Piggly Wiggly is considered actually a, I mean, all types of people shop at Piggly Wiggly. So, and y'all know me, I don't care. I don't care if the store is whatever. Like, I'll go. I'll go and I'll, I'll shop. I don't feel like I have to shop at this store because of this. No, honey, I'm shopping wherever. I'm trying to find what I'm trying to find. That's just where I'm at. So, I don't feel like I'm too good for the Piggly Wiggly or the Hood store, none of that. I don't. I shop at whatever store that I want to shop at. So, that's just what I do. Some, some stores you get certain things and, you know, others you get other stuff, so... That's one of my favorite stores to shop at, actually. Yes, it is, Jennifer. <laughs> How did you all make your turkey wings, those that made turkey wings today? Thank you, Cindy. All right, you all. So these turkey wings are ready for me to go ahead and get them situated. Let me see. I'm trying to think if I'm going to leave it on this eye or put it on the other eye. I want y'all to see these first, so I'll show you before I uh, do anything else. If you can't see. Ooh, Cornish hands. Okay, y'all. So here we are. So all we did was we just brown them a little bit on each side for a couple of minutes. And some vegetable oil. Okay, nothing major. Nothing hard, any of that. And again, if I had marinated my meat, I probably wouldn't have done it that way, but this helps with searing our flavor. Um, I know y'all ain't got no Piggly Wiggly up north. You know, I'm from St. Louis. I know we ain't got no Piggly Wiggly. I hate that. Thank you, Shay. So now I'm going to add in some of these onions and pepper honey. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat down a little bit. I need to go like a medium low. Mm, 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 mm. Add in your peppers and onions, honey. I'm 
nada. Add in your peppers and onions. If you can eat butter, add in some butter, about four tablespoons, maybe five. Add that in. If you can't have butter, don't worry about it, okay? Don't, don't feel like you gotta add something just because we're using it. Hmm? He said, why don't you cover it? I am gonna cover it, Zena. Girl, listen. Oh, we covering this thing right here. I promise you that. Okay. We're gonna add in some of our chicken broth. Now listen, thank you, Denise. I don't know where I got that cutting board, honey. I probably either got it from a, a Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, or Home Goods, because they're the only places that I would've got it from. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So it's one of the three. I'm adding some chicken broth. Now you can use water, okay? So don't feel like you gotta use the chicken broth. The chicken broth, you all know it has the flavor. So we just gonna add a little more flavor. Or you can use water and, and flavor or whatever you want. This about to be good. That's one thing I do know. So if you give me a second, I'll talk to y'all before I get out because what are we gonna have to do? I have to cover this and I have to cook this for about an hour and a half. Probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I won't make my gravy until it's about an hour or so in. That's just what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna let it cook in this uh, broth a little bit first, and then I'll do my gravy. Oh, let me see. Okay, and that's fine too. You can definitely use water. One thing I love is that the fact that you can use whatever you like. You have to use whatever makes you comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Whatever makes you comfortable, whatever you like. The thing about it is in your kitchen, it's the way you want it to be. And everybody do not like the same thing. So those that have my cookbook even, you'll see even in my cookbook, I actually tell you like, well, this is the way I do it. But if you like it this way or if you want to do something else, then you can do that. Okay. So always keep that in mind. Don't, don't let nobody make you feel like you got to make anything exactly the way they make it. Or I can tell you, the devil is a lie. <laughs> you ain't got to do that. <laughs> So here we are. Y'all better not be addressing no demons on my page. And I mean that. Y'all know I don't play that. So if you love me and support me, you keep it focused. We gonna show, we gonna show the devil how we supposed to act. <laughs> we gonna show him because he already defeated. Amen. So y'all stay saved and in the Lord and walk in love. And keep letting the devil look stupid and make people look stupid. All right. So here we go. So this is what we're doing. I'm going to add a top to it. Okay. Mm, don't that look good? I'm trying to tell you right now. And then what I'll do is I'll probably add about maybe four, um, four to five tablespoons of flour. I usually, what I do is for those that don't know how I make my gravy, um, what I like to do is add some flour into a cup. And then you mix it well with a liquid, whether it's water or it's chicken broth, mix it until it blends well, okay? Don't just put flour into your pot because, and I know some people know this, but believe it or not, some people don't know this particular method. So once you mix it together well, the flour or the whatever you're using to make your gravy, cornstarch, then once you mix it well, blend it well with your liquid, then you pour it into your liquid. Make sure it's smooth. And then that way, it'll actually make your gravy and it won't be clumpy. It won't be those little white clumps and all that stuff. So that's one of the things I want to share with you. But some people don't know that. Okay, if you know it, great. Praise God. But if you don't know that, remember that. Because <laughs> some people just, they don't like to make gravy for that very reason. It doesn't come out right. Well, my purpose is to help you to learn how to cook ba basic stuff. Basic stuff. I don't care about being a five-star chef. I, I care about eating. I care about eating good, too. I'm going to make sure whatever you learn from me is going to be tasty. 
um, I'm going to share with you the seasons that are good and whatever. So we're going to get some good eating. Let me get the top to that, y'all. Let me see. Where is... What am I using for this? I don't have my... Um... Oh, where is that top? Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on, y'all, because I have a top. I have a top that don't go to that, but it's going to go to that today. Go it's gonna go on today. It's gonna go today, honey. Oh, that looks good. And it smells good. All right, you all. Now that we got that covered and going, we're good to go. Amen, Karen. Definitely share your share your tips because you know it doesn't hurt to share things. Some people don't want you to know nothing. They don't want to tell you nothing. They sit there and cook and don't tell you nothing. <laughs> they don't want you to know nothing. So um, I'm not I'm not that person. Um, so I'm gonna share with you what I know. All right. So if you have a question for me, you can ask me. I have to let that cook. Let me set my timer. Let me set my timer so that I can keep up with my time because I'll start talking and then. I'll lose track of time and that's not good. So let me set my timer and then if you have any questions for me, then we can talk about it. Let's do one and let's do one and a half. That way that'll be good. And I can check it before then. Thank you for everybody who's who's purchased their cookbooks as well as who got the PDF. Um, you've been such a blessing. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Junie. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'm going to try to catch any comments you have. Thank you, uh, dear. Praise God. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, it just said, watch you almost burn something. <laughs> All right, I'm just waiting until I see any comments. Uh, um, I'm putting it on slow simmer. Somebody asked me, was I putting this in the oven or am I going to leave it on the stove? Today, I'm actually going to leave it on the stove. Okay, but you know you can do both. You can actually just transfer everything. I could literally transfer what's in that pot into a baking dish, cover it with foil and put it in the oven and pretty much cook it for the same amount of time, maybe a little longer because it does cook quicker on the stove. So don't feel like you can't put it in the oven. Everybody doesn't have that type of time. Or maybe you need to go do something. You can actually put it in the crock pot. So there's always different ways to do something. Don't limit yourself. There's always things to do something. So don't feel like it has to be this way or that way. No, that's not true. Thank you, dear. That sounds good. She said she made rutabagas and macaroni. Y'all, this these comments go really fast, so I, I assure you, if you ask me something, just ask it again, and I'll try to catch it. Um, another thing I was planning on cooking today, you all, was some wings. So uh, for two of my daughters, so I'm trying to think if I should go ahead and put those on. So if you all want to talk and hang out a little bit, I can go ahead and put those on. And then, um, but as far as the the turkey wings, they won't be done for a little bit. So I'll post uh, the finished product of those or come back live, one of the two. Um, I'm doing turkey wings. I'm thinking about doing either uh, fried potatoes, skillet potatoes, um, or mashed potatoes. And um, I have corn on the cob. I have fresh corn on the cob. So I was thinking about cutting that off the cob and make, maybe making some corn, maybe, I don't know, fried corn. I don't know. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> so I love eating summer sea. Oh, you're so welcome. Mary, the uh, website is pinned at the bottom. The only thing is, like I said, I didn't have many books left. So as I promised, I told you all, I will update that number at the at, on my website. So if it's some left, it's on my website. It's pinned at the bottom. 
but they go really fast. So I'm working right now to get a distributor so that I don't have to worry about dealing with any of that. Yes, honey. I have, and I haven't made skillet potatoes in so long. I mean, if you've seen my video for it, um, but I have not made skillet potatoes in a long time. So I was thinking, I like to let my kids kind of decide what they want. Um, but they want some lemon pepper wings. So I know I'm going to kind of focus on that for a second. Thank you, Denise. Sometimes I make different things, <laughs> you know. That sounds good too. I we eat a lot of rice, so I'm not gonna do rice tonight. That's why I was gonna do the uh, potatoes. Let me wipe this area, and then got a little bit more of that. This one's gone. Butter. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over the. Uh, I'm going to switch over the uh, this pot. I got that on a medium low. <sighs> this thing is heavy too, honey. I'm going to move this over. Oh, it's good to see you too, honey. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Natalie. And we're going to probably use this eye to do the, the wings. That's probably how we're going to do that. Hold on, y'all. Let's move that here. All right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mercy. I'm going to turn it off for a second. No, I haven't worked with Tabitha Brown. I don't even follow Tabitha. I literally only follow one other cook on social media, and that's Darius Cooks. I don't know any of the other cooks on social media, but... Darius is the only one I follow and I don't even know him really. I mean, you know, he's amazing. Um, but you know, when I, when I did have free time to watch, uh, other people cook on social media, he was the one I would watch. So he the only one I really know about. All I knew about Tabitha was that she would do vegan, I believe, but I know Darius does vegan too. So when people would come to me and ask me about vegan dishes, I would always send them to Darius or Tabitha. I would send them to either one. What am I looking for, y'all? Oh, these wings. Hold on, y'all. So that's that's um that's what I would do about that. I just knew that um they both would do vegan. So I don't really know. I don't really know much. I don't really have the time to kind of you know, dig in and find out what people got going on like that, so. But Darius is funny. Darius is funny, honey. Okay? I miss watching him, but I just don't have the time like I used to. So, it's been some months. I haven't been able to really watch him at all. What you said? Take your corner in the car. Oh, my goodness. I believe she is. I believe she's an awesome person. I do. I do. She seems like it. That's my grandmother, the lady in the picture. My grandma. Hold on. Who said something about when would you what? Thank you, dear. Yeah, Darius is awesome. Uh, hold on, he's pretty cool. I know you're going to give us your dressing. I uh, well, my dressing. I got two dressing recipes in my cookbook. So, um, matter of fact, I shared one. I shared one of my dressing recipes. You all, one of my videos. I don't know if it's with the the chicken uh, dressing recipe or with the uh, turkey dressing. But one of the dressing recipes is on Facebook. It is on Facebook. So, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna do a traditional dinner this year. I, I haven't done traditional Thanksgiving probably in a couple years. So I probably will do traditional Thanksgiving this year. So. 
at uh, uh Willie asked me do I have different ideas for the corn um not necessarily I'm kind of just like I said I like to kind of play things uh by ear only because my children I ask them what they want so um I know I'm gonna make these lemon pepper wings I'm gonna see if they want the corn on the cob to either be fried corn because I could take the uh the corn you know off the the thing you all know I got these so I can either you know peel them and, and cut it off the the cob and make a uh, fried corn or you know it just depends on what they want sometimes I don't know what I want so I'll ask them what they want thank you <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. I've been busy, but I'll be able to come back because, well, not come back, but do a lot more now that I don't have to, uh, you know, put all the cookbooks in order like I was doing before. Okay, y'all, I'm just looking at some of the comments. Some of the stuff I already answered you all. So, thank you, Patricia. All right, so what I'm doing now, these are some wings I marinated. And again, I love getting these from Piggly Wiggly because they're small. I'm gonna show you, they're real small and petite. And I love to get these because they usually have ones that are already um, cut, you know, but I'm gonna cut these so that um, I can fry them up and make some lemon pepper wings. So I just like to do that. So that's all I'm doing is separating them, okay? So I'm gonna put those in this bowl. Um, Charlene, she says, how do you eliminate the greasy taste and crock pot gravy? Why is there grease in the crock pot gravy? Hey, Cordon, is it Cordon? Cordon, Cordon. <laughs> um, yeah, this stuff going so fast. I love the same. Yeah, I love these. There's, and I mean, when I say they're small, I mean, these things are small. Okay, so I like to use these. I can't find them small anywhere, but either Piggly Wiggly or uh, it's another store in Dothan. Um, it is a hood store, and I love my hood store. Y'all know that. But it's, um, oh God, what is that store called? I think it's called Food Depot. Um, I think it's called Food Depot, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I just I just cut them apart from the the wing and the uh, the the drum and the wing. Thank you, dear. I love Aldi, but we don't have Aldi here. I had Aldi when I lived in uh like St. Louis. I had an Aldi when I lived in um, Huntsville. But as I uh, came further south in Alabama, there is no Aldi. There is no Aldi, but we do have, uh, uh, we have Publix. We have, I don't have Kroger anymore, um, but I have Piggly Wiggly, <laughs> which I didn't have in uh, Huntsville. And um, it's another store. I don't have a Whole Foods here. It's just certain things I don't have. The wings I marinated in the uh, the chicken seasoning, you all, the seasoning I showed you. I'll show you again. I'm just getting these separated because I don't have my, my oil on yet. But I'm going to show you how I make these uh, lemon pepper wings real quick. Because this girl been asking me, child, I don't know what it is. My girls, my teenage girls, they can eat wings every day. And I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Like, don't nobody want to be doing no wings every day. Ooh, y'all got to all be coming to Pensacola? Carolyn, girl, I love these knives. I get these knives from uh, Publix. I mean, um, Publix. Um, Sam's. I showed these before. These are members mark. I don't know if you can see that members mark on there. But I get them from uh, Sam's. They cut very good. Very sharp. I didn't have to sh uh, sharpen them yet. They're very sharp. Crystal and my girls do too. Them doggone lemon pepper wings. So that's why I'm doing that, because it doesn't make sense for me making wings and I'm making turkey wings, but, you know, you just want to, uh, one thing that I, I shared before you, I don't know if I shared it on this page, but I said, serve your family while you can. So my, my old, one, not my oldest daughter, but, well, my oldest daughter too, 
both of my oldest daughters can tell you, and Alon, can tell you that I serve them. I serve them. They could be sitting in their room, and Aaliyah, she, Aaliyah's the spoiledest one, I promise you. I don't know who more spoiled, her or Alana. She said, Mama, can you make me a sub sandwich or something? I said, you know how us moms do. I love Save a Lot. We don't have one here, though. And I say, girl, you know, you be you be fussing a little bit to my dog. What you want on it? <laughs> you know how they go. What you want on your sandwich now? You want mayo and, and, and tomato and the pickles? <laughs> and you go in the kitchen and you just make the sandwich and, and make it with love. And you take it to them and you serve it to them. So, you know, uh, I don't know. The Lord gave me a. A different perspective on those types of things that you serve your family while you can because at some point at any point you could become incapacitated um, we get older really quick before we even know um, you know not before we know you know what I'm trying to say you know we get older so quickly so we kind of focus our time on other stuff before you know it you won't be in a position where you can really serve your family like that you know so we fuss about it <laughs> but you know we go ahead and do it and we serve our, our family, you know. So while you can, serve your family. Serve them with love and, and give them that experience. Because when they get out in the world, other people are not going to treat them the way you treat your family. And that's just what it is. Ain't nobody going to treat your kids the way you treat your kids. You know, it just don't work like that. So, thank you, dear. Hey, you want Huntsville? I know that's right. I miss Huntsville, but I don't miss it enough to go back. I miss Huntsville, but I don't miss it enough to go back. I love y'all, though. I do. I do, I do. All right, let me put this in here. I'm putting all these little tips. I know some people don't like to waste those, and that's fine if you don't want to. But, hey, this is Aisha's house. So, I'm going to do what Aisha do. So, let me put this over here and over there. And you can do what you want with your tips. I'm not going to be mad at you about it. When I make lemon pepper wings, I fry them naked. That's right. Serve your family, honey. It's a blessing to be able to serve them. Teresa said, what about you the dolphin? The Lord. The Lord. I love the tips. Trust me. I love it. If I was eating, if I was eating the chicken, I would keep the tips. <laughs> Trust me. That's my favorite part. But I'm not, I don't want no, I'm tired of wings. I'm tired of these folks eating these wings. I'm tired of them. They always want some doggone wings. When you gonna want some else? You know. So um, I'm gonna let them go ahead and have that. We didn't have. They didn't. I didn't make wings. Seemed like every day for a while. So I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make them their lemon pepper. I love the wings too. I mean the tips. Hey, Carlos. Amen, amen. All right, you all. So, I'm warming up my vegetable oil now so we can put the wings in here. Um, I fry them naked when I make the lemon pepper. Thank you, Yvonne. I love you, too. Yeah, I know I could use the tips of something else, but y'all, I, it, you, you know, it is what it is. It's okay. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Hey, Lawanda. Kathy, my girls are, hey, Jay. Um, hey, Montoya. My girls are, um, hey, Ruby. Um, Layla's 17. Aaliyah's 15. She'll be 16 in November, November 8th. Um, Alana will be five in January. And, um, might as well say Bella is my little girl, too. She'll be, uh, one in April. So, she's an April 16th. Have you ever brought Sam's Club chicken? Hold on. Sam's Club chicken what? Girl, they're going to be good. I'm going to check them now. I'm probably going to have to turn that. Uh... Wings are expensive, but they're not expensive at the Piggly Wiggly. They like uh, 
Yeah, well, I guess they, they are more expensive than they used to be. I will say that. But um, they're not, you know, as expensive. Thank you, dear. Okay, y'all, let me, I'm going to put this little, we don't need that no more. So let's get us something we can use for these turkey wings. Oh, my goodness. Jesus! <laughs> Help us, Father. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, honey. Let's turn it, that up. Y'all, they look so good. Y'all want to see them? They just getting started now, honey. Hold on. Oh. They just getting started. They finna start boiling, honey. They smell so good. Ah, oh, I wish I could just, just ah, oh, I wish I could just send the smell through the through the live. Um, I love All Clad. That's my favorite brand of pans. But no, I'm not. Now this is this is All Clad, I believe. Lord Jesus, which one is this, y'all? This is a good one too. I got these from uh Sam's, but these are uh. I don't know. I gotta get another pan. Let me see. Cause they all they all uh this is granite stone diamond pro. Granite stone diamond pro. I get I got these from uh Sam's. So I don't really know, but these are some good behind pans. Now I was all all clad. <laughs> I was like an all clad fanatic until I tried those pans. Got them from Sam's. They're amazing. I love the way they cook my food. So, I don't know. Somebody else I know got them pans because they good. You are Adrian. Hi, Bethann. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Lisa. So, in this pan, I'm using the one I just showed you for the uh, chicken. This fry is really good. <laughs> so, I'm using this for the uh, the chicken wings. And they were cheap. They were, uh, I got a set of like, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got about six pans with the lids for about 60, maybe $70, $75. I don't know. Maybe somebody on here knows they got them from Sam's, maybe $75. It, it wasn't expensive for the amount of pans I got. And they good. They good too. You haven't? She said she's never seen one make uh, turkey wings on top of the stove. Mary, with the turkey wings, um, they didn't start boiling. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Um, my, Oh, they smell good. Lord Jesus. Every time I open that pan. Um, I was going to make some potatoes. So, I'm still like, once I make these lemon pepper wings, I'm going to talk with my kids and see, like, listen, if y'all not going to eat no turkey... You know, because you eat these lemon pepper wings, and I'm not going to be making all this extra stuff. So, because it'll just be leftovers. So, I'm going to see what they want. But I'm planning on making uh, potatoes, uh, skillet potatoes, and um, what else I say, y'all? And some corn on the cob, because I have fresh corn on the cob. Veronica, it's a very good set. It's a very good set. Very good set. I, I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong. Now I I love this pot. Now it could be too that it's right now. I have a flat top. I don't have a gas stove. I love gas stove. Now I can't tell you how it's gonna cook on a gas stove, but on the flat top, these work so good. So that's what I needed was a a pot that would work good on my flat top. So at some point, I'm gonna be uh, transitioning <laughs> in this kitchen. I'm a, I'm gonna remodel some things. And I'm going to uh, have a gas stove put in. But I know these pots are good for the flat top. All right, y'all. I'm trying to see what I need for my... I'm going to just use this one for my, uh, for my wings. Thank you, dear. You remember when I made those hot Cheetos? <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, um, Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Thank you, Michael. Yes, agreed. 
somebody else said they got the flat top. So, hey, Lachey. Lachey, I don't know if I'm doing rice or potatoes. So, now, if the kid's not going to eat none, I would do rice. I'm a rice person. I can eat rice every day. I can't eat it every day because I'll get big as a blimp. But, but I do eat rice a lot. I love rice. I can eat it every day. So, if the kids are not going to, then I'm just going to cook me a little rice. And that's going to be that. The name of what, Miss Little John? It's not late. Who said I'm cooking late? It's, it's not even 5 o'clock where I live. <laughs> it's not late at all. Everybody will be eating by 7. Thank you, Susan. Blessings from Louisiana. Hi, Donette. Thank you, Gail. I love rice. I love rice. The oil is getting hot. Now, um, when I make the lemon pepper wings, let me see my, I got a few lemon pepper uh, spices. I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to show you the different ones I got. I got my tones. We're not using that today, y'all. Hold on. I got my, uh, my favorites, <laughs> Mike and Amber's, Louisiana. We use this a lot. My Louisiana is probably almost gone. Yep. My Louisiana soul, those who've been following me know years ago, it's been some years ago now that I met Amber and Mike, and I tried out their Cajun lemon pepper and their other seasoning. They have another seasoning too, but this one right here, this one right here, <laughs> I got a lot of people hooked on this. So if you ain't tried it, you need to hook, hit them up. It's the Cajun Lemon Pepper by Louisiana Soul. They have a page. I think their Facebook page is also Louisiana Soul. They have a cookbook, PDF cookbook you can purchase. I got mine, so I ain't promoting nothing. I ain't purchased myself. Um, and I'm trying to think, what is their website? I think it's LouisianaSoul.com or something. I'm sorry, those that purchased it before, you all know. Oh, LaSoulSeasoning.com. That's their website if you want to try it. LaSoulSeasoning.com. It's really good and you won't be regretful. So my daughters love this for their lemon pepper. So I'm going to do this for their wings. But I do love the tones. We're just not using that today. And I have another, uh, no, that's not lemon pepper. That was Parmesan. So now you all, we're going to start dropping these wings in. I'm not using my hand. I'm going to use a tongue. I love rice too, honey. When they naked, sometimes they can get real disrespectful. So just be careful. They get real disrespectful. So I kind of just, you know, start dropping them in and move on back out the way. So I'll come back in the, in the camera in a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to get burnt on live. <laughs> Or off live. And you can, um, with these small wings, you can pretty much drop them on in together. I like to do one at a time. They do not take long to cook. But if you have the bigger wings, they're going to take longer. So just keep that in mind. But you about to see these not going to take long at all. It's going to surprise you. But they real good, tasty. I'm going to show you what I season it with again. It's just my Caribbean chicken seasoning. Something that's not overpowering. And that's not going to take away from the flavor once we actually get ready to um, toss it with our lemon pepper. You don't want anything taken away from your, your ending result. Now, if you're not going to toss it with nothing, no hot sauce or nothing, then you just do what you do. You can season it how you want to season it with as much as you want. But we want to be able to taste that lemon pepper, okay? We want to be able to taste the lemon pepper and not it be overpowering when you can't taste it. All right, so make sure you grab you some of that. Thank you, Mike and Amber. They always make sure I'm straight with my seasoning. And I love, 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 I just love them anyway. They are just amazing people. So if you want to just sow a good seed on some good ground, Mike and Amber, okay? I tell you being in church when people tell me, I sow a good seed. <laughs> so.
so it could see. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep this out. We need a little butter. I'm gonna need more than this. Get a little bit more butter. I'm cooking both, Tiffany. <laughs> I'm cooking turkey wings for, basically the dinner is turkey wings, but my, my daughters also wanted uh, lemon pepper chicken wings, so I'm actually doing that as well, okay? So that's what that's what's going on here. I know it's it's a lot, but I have teenagers and and I tend to cater to people's uh, needs and wants more than I probably should. But hey, you only get one time around to, to uh, you know, to do what you do for your family. So your kids, they remember this kind of stuff. They'll remember how I serve them. They'll remember me bringing them uh, plates in bed. I don't know how many times I've served my kids in bed with their plates, brought it to them, brought them napkins and a drink. You get everything. You want ice? Thank you, Lusasha. Yeah, I'm that mama. You want ice? You want a straw? What kind of drink you want? You want some more? <laughs> so that's just how I am. So uh, before I get too old, I want to be able to, uh, you know, just do some things for my kids like that. They'll remember and they'll appreciate it. They may not act like they appreciate it now, but they will appreciate it. Hold on, y'all. Let's see if these... Uh, turkey y'all see the turkey those that didn't see the turkey and he put the turkey on you have to go back and catch the replay okay to see the turkey or how i put it on so i'm gonna let these cook for a little bit and with that top on there it's going to help those turkey wings get real tender they were cut pieces of turkey wings so again those got cut they didn't cut them for me with the butcher some butchers will cut them for you but they came already cut they were already cut Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. So I got those on, um, I'm gonna turn them down a little bit more. They were on a medium. Turn them down some. Hold on, let me show y'all our chicken. Honey, when you fry these wings like this, honey, naked with the right flavor, my God. People be dancing. I'm going to tell you something. You want to know how you know your food good? When you serve kids. I'm talking about kids. I ain't talking about no... You could serve anybody, really. They be loud. They be loud. Like, oh, I'm making all this noise. And then you sit the food down in front of them. And then everybody gets quiet. That's how you know. That's how you know. <laughs> I mean, it gets silent. Like, what is everybody doing? They eating. They eating. Mm -hmm. They ain't got time to talk. The stuff's so good. Now, if they still talking after you give them their food, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say nothing negative, so I ain't going to say nothing at all. But I just know my people get quiet. They get quiet. Like, you have to go back in there and make sure everybody's okay and get so quiet. You can hear a mouse poop. That's how quiet it gets. So just, hey. It is what it is, y'all. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Y'all know it get quiet. You talk what? What they in there doing? Why is it so? That's right. Feet wiggling. They just boy, they in heaven. They like woo. Mm mm mm. But I think once I became a grandma, I got a, another level of anointing on that cooking. Cause y'all know grandma can cook. Grandma got that touch. I don't know what that's about. It's something about when your grandma makes something versus when your mama make it. It's a little different when your grandma make it. So I think I've elevated to another level <laughs> by me becoming a grandmama. <laughs> so I really believe that. I ain't trying to be funny. I believe that. I do. I believe grandmas have a special anointing when it comes to cooking food. I don't know what that's about. And I think it's just a blessing from the Lord. So if you are already a cook and you become a grandmama, it's just, I don't care how young or how old you are. It's just... It's like you get that, that extra mantle fall from heaven or something. It's like, ooh, your food just extra good. <laughs> it's extra good now. So, I know I've been leveling up in some things. So, in a minute, y'all, these wings going to be done. I'm going to show y'all how I do my lemon pepper. It's real simple with Mike and Amber seasoning. The blessing with their seasoning is you ain't got to add nothing with it. You don't have to add nothing with it. Now, I choose to use my... Uh, this is what I use anyway because I like a base seasoning that is not strong, salty, um, and not going to take away from the flavor or whatever I'm 
tossing my wings in. So I always use this or I'll use a little bit of this. This has a lot of sodium. I'm going to just be 1000% real. However, don't use a lot of it. So I like to marinate, like when I make fried chicken that I'm actually going to batter, I like to use this. And I'll marinate my chicken for about a day or two, literally in this season. It's so good. It's so good. But it has a lot of sodium, so you can't use a lot of it. This one, I don't know about the sodium like that. I just know I don't use a lot of it, and it's good. <laughs> so we did this with our wings, our hot wings. Um, these wings are just about done. If you don't know how to fry chicken, the way you can know your chicken is done is usually either you can time it, which it doesn't normally take that long. These are real small. Or when they start floating. When they start floating, usually your chicken is done, okay? So even after mine start floating, which they have, I like to let them cook a little longer because they like to add a little, they like a little crisp to them, you know. So, you welcome to have some. I'm not eating none of this, though. <laughs> let me get a, uh, so now we need a bowl. Let me get, oh, not that bowl. I need a bowl. Oh. All right, I got a bowl, y'all. I got a bowl, and I'm gonna melt some butter. Hey, Chris. Thank you, Miracle. I'm gonna get back to posting more videos. Thank you, Connie. So thank you all for watching and sharing and liking and all that good stuff. Hey, Stephanie from St. Louis. Hey, Brother Deshaun. Minister, Brother Deshaun. We need the ministers in the house. <laughs> Eric Brown says Louisiana soul. I mean, Louisiana seed and tones. And I only have a few cookbooks left. And um, the website is pinned at the bottom. After those are gone, um, I honestly don't know exactly when I'll have more available. So, thank you, Janelle. All right, y'all, I'm taking some butter. You don't have to use this much butter, or you don't have to use any butter at all. But I like to use butter with my seasoning when I do my hot wings, or my, the, in this case, these are lemon pepper wings. So, you could do dry rub. You don't have to do butter at all. If you want them dry, leave the butter out, Okay. So if you want them dry, leave the butter out. Dang, these wings smell good. Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Woo. My God. Mm, mm -mm. I wish y'all could just smell it. They need to, they, Facebook need to come out with some where y'all can smell through this dog on phone. And I am not playing with you. I am not playing with you. Hey girl. Hey Sherry. All right, y'all. Dang. <sighs> you welcome, Ann. Yes, we do need Lisa. All right, y'all. Just melt this butter. When you melt your butter, you want to kind of give it. A few seconds at a time, you'd be made a mess. Hey, Drea. Yeah, I wasn't on live. Um, the last time I was on live cooking, I think when it was it last Sunday, y'all, or maybe the Sunday before last. Tina, I always cook with unsalted butter. I always use the same thing, unsalted butter. I never use margarine or any of that. I always use unsalted butter. <sighs> y'all gotta see these wings. Hold on, microwave. Good Lord, have mercy. Wait till I take them out, though. Uh, Y'all, they smell so good. Lord, they smell so good. Help us, Lord. Ah! Mm. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Can you smell it? I'm telling you. Hey, use that seasoning and, 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 and fry them nigga. You will be smelling it. It's going to smell the same way. It smells so good, I don't even like to throw my grease away. It's like I need to cook something else in that because I know it's some flavor all up in this grease. 
So yeah, right now. All right, y'all. Let's check these turkey wings too. Let me put that butter back in there, y'all. Girl, I'm making turkey and wings. These teenagers got me cooking some of everything. All right, our butter is ready, so let's put our butter over here, and we're gonna put the butter with the lemon pepper. But let's check these uh, these wings over here. These turkey wings, not the wings wings, the turkey wings. Jeez, Ooh, it's smelling too good in here. Somebody finna start shouting. I'm telling you, this food will make you go into glory. Child, you can't be smelling food like that. You ever walk in your grandma's house or, or walk in the place and the food, everything smells so good it make you want to start shouting? Because if you haven't, you need that experience in your life. If you ain't walked in somewhere and, and smelled the food or been asleep and smelled the food and woke you up and you ain't feel like shouting, uh-uh, uh-uh, that ain't it. That ain't the will of God for your life. <laughs> you, need, you need that experience before you leave here, honey. Cause woo, I feel a, I feel a dance coming on. I can feel it. I feel it. I feel it all in my legs. I'm serious. I can feel it. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You'll be cooking and you just start dancing. Like I just know this finna be fire. I don't care what nobody got to say. This finna be good. It's finna be good. Woo wee! I turned them over. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper on this other side, y'all. I am I can feel it all in my legs. I can feel it in my legs. Like, I feel the spirit coming upon me. <laughs> it's coming. It's creeping up my legs. I'm going to be running around this kitchen. The smell is overwhelming. It's taking over. It's just taking over. Mm. Yes, Lord. I hear you. I hear you, God. All right, y'all. We got to take these wings out of here so we can um, toss them in this lemon pepper. Okay, let me cover this up because we got to, this need to get done so we can enjoy this. All right, lemon pepper butter, our bowl. Let me get a thing so we can drain these wings. I can go ahead and turn, well, let me see how uh, crispy they are. Oh, yeah. We can't cook these too long, y'all, because they're, they're so small. These are tiny. These ain't regular size wings, okay? These are, they, I mean, when I say they small, they small. They like half of the size of a regular wing. So let me go ahead and get those out of here. I know you can't tell probably from the camera, but they small. So let me get the, the thing. We're gonna go ahead and drain these wings because I don't want you to, we don't want them to, um, you know, be overdone. Uh-oh. Okay. We're going to put these on in here. Maybe I can see that. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes your food just be so good because you just give God the glory. Okay? You ever pray over your food? You ain't got to pray over when you got the anointing. <laughs> when you got that cooking anointing, you ain't got to pray. It's going to come out just fine. I promise you that. It's a lady, man. She had an anointing to make some greens. Oh, them greens be so good. I could never, I still ain't figured out how to make them greens the way she made them greens. Boy, I tell you, and you eat them, you just be, oh, Jesus. It's like, I don't even know what to say. It's like Jesus himself was cooking these greens through the lady. Like, how is it possible that these greens <laughs> taste like this? I know y'all think I'm funny, but I'm telling the truth. All right, let's bring this over here and let y'all see that. Hold on, y'all. We gonna, um, girl, the Holy Ghost is here. He's here. Oh, he's here. I'm telling you he's here. I, I know he's here because I feel him. All in my bones, honey. Let me move this oil and then we're gonna do these uh, wings. And I'm gonna show you all how I do that. Let me move this wall over. I could probably put these little. Ooh, that's heavy. I'm so glad I ain't dropped that while I'm on live. That would have been embarrassing. Y'all probably would have laughed at me too. Let's see, move this over. Okay, you all. 
There we go. How they look, you all. They may look like they not at season, but I promise you, they have a lot of flavor. And I'm going to move these turkey wings back on this other eye, y'all. Let's see, I got it on the 8. Let's put you on a, a medium. I'm going to move them back over, y'all. There we go. All right. Now, these wings, you all, they have so much flavor. I know it don't look maybe like it, but they do, okay? <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do, I do something really simple when I make them their, uh, their lemon pepper. I don't know. Let me see. Let me make sure everybody wants lemon pepper. Let me do half. I'll do half lemon pepper just to be on the safe side because that way if somebody wants like actual hot wings, they can, um, we can do, you know, the hot, the hot flavor too. They're nice and crispy. They have a lot of flavor. They're good just like this. If you taste these wings just like this naked, you wouldn't even want to put no flavor on them. I promise you that. They're just that good. So we're going to take this bowl, we're going to add a little bit of our, well, go ahead and add that, <laughs> our butter, and then we're going to add our Louisiana Soul uh, Cajun Lemon Pepper, so delicious, hopefully y'all can see that, and you don't need a whole, whole lot, mmm, it smells so good, honey, my daughter loves this doggone seasoning, you toss those around, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Add a little bit more. All right, let's get a, a plate. Mm, mm. Yes, Lord. They hot as I don't know what. Y'all know my hand burning. I don't know why y'all trying to act like it ain't. Because it is. All right. And then if you want, you can add a little bit more. You don't need no more. I promise you. That flavor is in the wings. Their Cajun lemon pepper is very, very tasty. It's very flavorful. So you don't need a whole lot. And when I tell you these lemon pepper wings, y'all be so good. They just have a really, really good flavor. Their lemon pepper isn't salty. And I think that's one of the things we love about their seasoning is not salty. It's not salty. So if you have a lemon pepper flavor that is salty, use less or get one that's not salty. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to <laughs> Aretha said them wings. What? <laughs> She's so funny. Hey Aretha, my sister. I didn't know you was on here. <laughs> but she said, I cook my greens. Uh, thank you, dear. Yeah, these so small. These are so small that that's the blessing in it. If you want to send something to me to, uh, let me share that too. Hold on, let me, give me one second, y'all. Layla. She ain't gonna hear me, probably. Where is my girl seasoning? Letitia. Tisha. Is it Tisha or Letitia? Lord, don't let me say the wrong name, y'all, because I ain't trying to misadvertise at all. Okay. All right, let me say this. Tisha's creative cooking. I was trying to show you all her seasonings. I'm going to be trying these out ASAP. So I told you all, I love the support. I, it's not that people just support me. I think I have so many supporters because I am a supporter. I believe in supporting people. I do. I believe in that. So I um, if you have something that you want me to share with my platform, just send it to my P.O. box. It's um, it is on my page. It's uh, Cooking with Aisha P.O. Box 2045, Dothan, Alabama 36302. Um, that's how it started with this. I don't charge people to for to do any of this. I just if you want to give me a donation, I'm fine with that. That's one of the reasons I posted my cash app too which people thought it was something else, but whatever. I ain't got time for that. I don't have time to stop and explain any anymore. So um, that's how we got started with Louisiana Soul, how I found out about them. Um, 
you know, by me sharing, it's been a blessing to them. And I'm just grateful for that. I don't need nothing, nothing from you. <laughs> so, um, Tisha, I ordered all her seasonings. She has a, um, vanilla cinnamon butter seasoning. Mm-hmm. Look forward to that. She has a Cajun seasoning. She has a, a vegetable seasoning. She has a, um ranch seasoning she has a chicken seasoning i'm excited for that chicken i love chicken seasoning she has an all-purpose seasoning and she has a roasted garlic and herb so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna either go live trying her seasoning but i think i probably should um you know just for the sake of you know um do uh try it on my own and um like i did with the louisiana soul and then share with you all how i like it so, um, I think I'm really going to like this one, the Cajun and the chicken. I don't know why. I just got a feeling about these two. So I'm going to be giving those a try real soon. And I'll let you all know if you have something that you want me to try and share with my platform, uh, just let me know and I'll, um, you can send it to my PO box. So I don't mind doing that. So yeah, her seasoning sound very good, <laughs> very, very good. So I'm excited about that. So I'm going to be getting started on those. Once I get the rest of the cookbooks out, um, I have to get those orders out this week. These uh, wings are for my daughter. So I'm going to call her in to get her wings. So they're not just sitting here getting cold. Because we don't want no cold food. Hey, come get your wings. And then Aaliyah's not here yet. So let me turn this down. Hi, Carolyn. Ivy. Now, Letitia, uh, I mean, Tisha is, uh, she's not somebody like a, uh, you know, that a lot of people know right now yet. But I told her, I believe greater is coming for her. I do believe that. Um, her page is called Tisha's Creative Cooking. Creative has an eight in the place of the A. Um, I don't know her website right off the bat. I apologize, but I promise you, once I actually try this, I'm going to let you all know. Um, she reached out to me and asked me for uh, some advice and things. So what I'm going to do is I want to try to help whoever I can with, with the place where God put me. So if I could share your, your whatever you have um, to help you to gain a, a, a customer base, I'll be willing to do that. Yes, it's Louisiana Cajun lemon pepper, but it's Louisiana Soul Cajun lemon pepper. You're well, you're welcome, Kiana. So just, but the thing is, don't send me nothing if you're not ready for the overflow. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny because sometimes, you know, we're in a place like we want, we want the customers, <laughs> but we're not ready to you know deal with the customer so make sure you're in a place where you actually ready you got some legit stuff going on and you know and you're going to be able to service who come because people coming they're going to come ask mike and amber they are going to come they reached out to me they said hey there's mike right there he was like aisha they got so many orders coming in so many orders coming in and they will tell you i'll ask you for a dime god bless you God bless you. You know, so my thing is I just want you to be blessed. Okay? I just want you to be blessed. So it's going to be all right. Just be ready for that overflow though. <laughs> Cuz people on on my page, they will they will like actually buy your product if I recommend it. So and I'm only going to recommend it if it's something that I really really, you know, like. So yes, you can send it to my PO box. I'm going to check my P.O. box. I need to actually check it in the morning, but that's not going to be possible. I can't check my P.O. box like I want to check it because I got my baby girl at home, my grandbaby, so um, during the day. So I'm a, I need to get there uh, by the end of the day before they close tomorrow. They close early on Friday. So I try to get there um, before the end of the day, but send it by Friday. I'll definitely do the next check on my P.O. box on Friday on Friday. So if you send me something, um, I'll check Friday and then I'll check again. I try to check my PO box every three to four days. So just letting you know, every three to four days. K 
Kiana is uh, cooking with Aisha, 2045, Dothan, Alabama, 36301. It's on my page. It's under my information. It's under my information. Y'all, let's check these turkey wings because I feel like this uh, heat is too high. I got to turn it down. Heat is too high. The heat is too high. Hold on. Mm. But they look good, though. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-oh. There we go. The heat is high. Let me turn it down. Uh-oh. Let me come back, son. All right. So, I'm going to let these now. It's going to be, it's not going to be that, that much longer, but they got to still cook. So, I just wanted to show you all. They're doing good. Um, we should be eating by 7. So, in about another maybe 45 minutes or so, what I'll do, you all, is make my gravy uh, mixture and put it in there so it'll actually start thickening up. Um, and then, depending on what my girls want, Layla must be asleep because <laughs> she ain't came to get her wings. But uh, depending on what my girls want, I'll probably just end up making the potatoes or the rice. It just depends. <clears throat> so I'll wait just another second, you all. I'll post the finished product of everything. As always, I appreciate you all hopping on and giving me a few minutes of your time. So if you have a question for me, I'll wait just another minute before I hop off. Hey, Margaret. Crystal, she has not. She may be asleep because I don't even hear. Uh, I don't even hear my granddaughter. So she may be asleep. Am I going to cook what online, dude? Rice and corn. Um. I don't know. I may do the, it, it just depends. Once I ask them, it'll either be corn on the cob. I, I, I do want corn on the cob. It is going to be corn on the cob. I do want that. So I'll make corn on the cob or I may cut it off the, the, um, the cob and actually make fried corn. And then um, I have potatoes. I'm not doing potatoes this month like that. So pretty much at all. So if they don't want potatoes, then I'll do a little rice. I'll do a little bit of rice for myself. Thank you for sending the stars. I appreciate that. I see you. The lemon pepper is Louisiana Soul, LA Soul Seasoning.com. Mike, if he's still here or Amber, please correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. But I love this. It says Louisiana Soul on here. They also have a Facebook page. And again, like I said, they also have a cookbook. I purchased the PDF. I think they only have PDF. So I purchased that. You can get that on their website. But we've been using this seasoning for years. When I first found out about it, I immediately started sharing it with my following. So uh, many people have become regular customers because of it. Because it's just, it's just good. You know, <laughs> it's just good. Hold on, y'all. Thank you, Drea. I don't want any, um, how do you cut up a... I don't know, Levette, because uh, I don't know. The onion didn't make me cry. Hi, dear. Thank you, Ronnell. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Latasha. And I did see that you uh, sent me a, you sent me something on Messenger. I'm going to check it, dear. I don't want you to think I wasn't checking it. I just been resting this weekend, so I will check your message. You know I will, because we talk a lot on there. So I'll check that. Felicia, the cookware is a... Uh, it's, I got it from Sam's, and it's Granite Stone Diamond Pro. I got it from Sam's. Now, it came in a set. It came in a set. So, and it, it looks like this little granite. You can kind of see. Man, when I tell y'all I love these pots. I love these pots. I love these pots. I'm not Drea. I don't know what that is. I use this to season the wings with. You're welcome, Felicia. I use this. Caribbean. Caribbean traditions. Uh, chicken seasoning. I know the light is kind of making it hard to read. And just keep in mind, again, you all, uh, uh, my, my products, as far as my shirts or my cookbooks, are only available on my website, which I have posted at the bottom. I do have another t-shirt site, like my Yes Honey shirt. Some people... Uh, purchase shirts. That's another site. I've only posted it, I think, like maybe once or twice. So just be careful. Any Anything else going on outside of that is not me. So um, 
just keep that in mind. Just help me to keep an eye out for um, fake pages and things like that. Don't give anybody your money. I don't ask for money. So, um, like I said, I did post my cash app yesterday on my page. It was not requesting any money. It was simply for those who have asked to be a blessing to my life and for those who want to send a donation when I uh, do their products. So, that's all it is. So, just make sure you're reading before you assume. <laughs> Read first, and then you'll get the message before it becomes a thing. And I think that's what happened yesterday. I think I don't think it was somebody had did some. I think that somebody read it. And then they assumed and it became a thing. So we got to be careful with assumptions. Assumptions are very dangerous. Um, as they say, I ain't going to say what they say because that's not nice. <laughs> I ain't going to say what they say. Anthony, I do have a YouTube channel. It's under Cooking with Aisha. It's the same, Cooking with Aisha. Thank you, Cheryl. That's right, Tamika. If we read first, then we'll actually get the answer to what we're, you know, so it's just it's assumptions. I'm telling you, they, they get us in trouble. They can get us in trouble. They can ruin relationships. They can they can do a whole lot of things that's not good. So Betty, it's a Louisiana soul. Louisiana soul. It's the Cajun lemon pepper. Hey, you just got here. You can come in. Can you come try this for them? Oh, you, you want to be on camera? You probably want to be on camera. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually gonna hop off. The lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah's trying to lemon pepper. She don't want to be on camera. So you know how that goes. You know, when they get like a certain age, they're like, oh, mom, I'm not looking like I want to look right now. Thank you, Sharon. I mean, I guess they're pretty good. <laughs> I know they're good, honey. You ain't got to say you guess. Um, so far, I've just did the turkey wings. They need to cook another probably about 30 minutes to 45 minutes before I actually do the rest of it. I didn't want to do my size and my turkey wings still needed much time to cook. So in about, like I said, 30, 45 minutes, I'll do my mixture for my uh, gravy. Add that in. It's going to thicken it up. I'll post a, I'll post the finished product either way. And then, um, so will you, I am going to have my own seasonings. I am. Don't worry. <laughs> it's coming. I was uh, working on it and then I paused on that. So it's like, but it's coming. It's going, but I believe it's going to come at the right time. I think sometimes, even though we know we're supposed to do something and we jump into it too early, prematurely, and then things don't go the way you think they going to go, you know, but I promise you that when God says something, it's going to happen in your life. It's going to happen at the appointed time. It's going to happen at the right time. If we wait on him, if we wait on him. So I'm excited to see the things that God is uh, just going to continue to do in my life. But right now them forward and you want the best for them y'all get up my thing just cut off i want y'all to see my baby say hey <laughs> Bills. i'm sorry y'all my internet connection was messing up there's layla <laughs> i know she ain't looking how she wants to look say hey Bills. say hey everybody say hey Hey, Facebook. You want to look at me? Okay. All right, y'all. All right. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. I hope you got the, the gist of the message. They finna tear these wings up. I'll post the finished product of the turkey wings. And thank you, as always, for your time. And um, I'll be seeing you all soon. All books will be mailed out this week. All of them. And I'll post a video, you all, like I told you I would, for how I put the books together. All right. Thank you for your continued support. You can get the books until they uh, run out. The website is at the bottom of the page. All right, I'll see you all soon.